I made these Christmas cards this week from collagraphs with plants and feathers. Want to see how I made them? Stay tuned. Hello you jelly fans. Here you see me making three collagraphs from natural sources. I have cut out cardboard exactly the size of the jelly plate and I am taping this small branch of conifer down with very thin aluminum tape. The conifer will represent the Christmas tree on the card as will this piece of fern. I think it was an idea of my friend Gerda Lipsky to use the fern for a Christmas tree. If you don't know Gerda, check her out. She's been my most important teacher as well as here on YouTube as in person. Hello Gerda. Now the tape is not wide enough for the fern, but I did not add any tape on the outer branches as I thought this might create a nice design. But this is what Collagraph is about, isn't it? The tape is sticky but somehow strangely did not stick everywhere between the leaves and the twig. That is probably because of certain dampness the fern still has. It will work anyway. I'm adding a star to the foil for the treetop, just scratching in the form with a graphite pencil. A different kind of star for the conifer tree. Now I'm taking my Play-Doh leftovers from the other day video to make little stamps with these stencils. The Play-Doh gets stiff after a couple of days and you can keep them as stamps for other projects. I'm rolling out the Play-Doh thinly, forcing it through the stencil and thereby creating a relief. Doing the same with the snowflake crystal stencil. I'm not adding those to the collagraphs, so I can use them in any place later. And this will be my third collagraph. I so love printing feathers that I thought I'd try to place them to represent a tree. Actually, I really don't know if that is very convincing. I want the long feather in the middle to represent the trunk, so I'm cutting it down and arrange the other feathers around it. Then I'm gluing everything to the cardboard. Oh, actually this is a piece of thin plywood. And I really cannot tell you why I had to place the remote control in the middle of the picture. For printing I am using the Golden Open acrylics today. They stay wet for a long time, which means you can calmly think about what your next step is. And you don't have to worry about the paint getting dry in your plate. For the collagraph printing I'm using black first. Pressing down firmly and hoping this will show the subtle structures of the fern. Funny how the collagraph plate looks now. I am not happy with the first result, as the print is a little too dark. Now for the conifer collagraph. Plate is inked up with black again thinly, pressing down even harder to take more color off the plate. This looks quite promising. I'm inking up the little Play-Doh stamp and press it on where I want it. Quite a nice result. And here is what I am turning this into later in the video. The fern collagraph again, this time I have inked up with an even thinner layer of the black. The 
a Merry Christmas stamp and another stamp I have made with a star. Now this may look like a failure, but I'm actually excited about it because it has just the right amount of random textures and giving hints, just barely showing what it is supposed to be. Exactly what it inspires me the most to make something out of it. Look what it becomes later. And I was right about the interesting design of the aluminum foil. Now the feather color graph on a black layer. I'm somewhat excited. Ooh, it already looks gorgeous. The print is nice and the right value, but I want to add a star. What do you actually call these things sitting on top of the Christmas tree? Anyway, I'm using a stencil directly for it this time. The brayer doesn't work so well, so I press the paint through the stencil with a tissue dipped in color. Nice. And here is what you will see me work out later. Inking up only two thirds of the plate, as now I want to print on one of the rectangular cards that have a shiny glitter surface. Also just using black only. Don't worry, there is another color coming up. This is the snowflake stamp. Nice result. Don't even have to do much more on this one. Here the camera went off. I'm making another feather print using the golden quinacridone nickel azo gold, which is not an open color. It mixed with the black and went dry too quickly, so I'm picking this up with a black paper and a white pickup paint. Beautiful, but did not work out this one yet. Now I am mixing the black and the quinacridone gold directly on the plate. Absolutely wonderful. This became my favorite as you'll see later in the video. Now I'm cutting out the Merry Christmas stencil. I want to check if it works better than the stamp. But you have to keep in mind to use it the wrong way around so that it doesn't get mirrored. Another one of the shimmery cards. Camera went off again here. Creating some extra texture with the tissue. Quite nice and not much further work necessary. I'm freeing the conifer from the colograph as I want to print it directly this time. Look at the foil residue. Very interesting this imprint. Picking this up with deli paper. I like this paper a lot as it leaves more color on the plate and at the same time creating textures with the paint. Hmm, so so. I'm not too happy with this one. Okay, now for the developing of all of these interesting prints. I will speed this up a lot. Using black pencil here to create a tree structure. 
and suddenly the tree is having two trunks, although the fern didn't have that. I love it. Giving the tree a little volume with some shadows and a star on top too. This is something very special, the Liquitex Gold Metallic Medium. It is very transparent, you can add it to opaque colors to get a soft shimmer, but I like to use it on its own. It leaves the textures in the background visible and it gives this lovely shine. Now isn't this gorgeous? Sorry for being in love with myself. <laughs> this one will get quite a few outlines of the feathers. It is the super thinnest fine liner ever. If you have tiny delicate structures, there is no better pen. Quite a lot of snowflakes here although I wouldn't be able to explain where they come from. Well, it's Christmas. This one gets a gold treatment too, just up to the horizon line. From the horizon upwards, I wanted to have a beige color. Black, gold and beige is just an amazing triple harmony, I think. Going further upwards, I want the beige to fade out like fog. For that, you have to leave the brush absolutely dry, take just a little bit of color and smear it upwards to fade out. Use cheap brush, as this might ruin the tip of the brush. Now wait a minute, suddenly I see a moon here have to follow that vision, of course. I even create a little bit of a moon landscape. Now for that glorious feather tree. I add some of the quinacridone gold with the star stencil and the Merry Christmas stencil. some outlines with a micron pen and some feather details. And this beauty is finished. Here I have to stop to show you what I love about this one. The golden open color has given me some decalcomania textures, something that I usually only get with etching ink. This is actually why I used no etching inks today. The golden open is a very good alternative. Giving it a little bit of fog behind with a white pencil. Man, I like this so much that I want to keep it. That's not what Christmas is all about, is it? Showing you very quickly here how I made the shiny card shine a little more with the gold medium again. 
Well, I think this does not look like a Christmas tree at all. It's just a bunch of feathers and a snowflake crystal. And just quickly what I did with this one, with watercolor paints in green and copper. And a little bit of detail with a micron pen. I cut out the big ones right at the rim of the jelly plate. And they fit in the envelopes just for a millimeter. That can be a problem if the jelly plate loses its shape a bit, which will happen if you use it often. So here's a recap. This was so much fun. These two I didn't finish yet, but will develop them later, or next year. I have so much footage and I made yet another color graph, so this is what's coming next. I will be making one more of these Christmas card videos. Be creative for Christmas and peace for everyone. See you next week.